Hi everybody, it's Linnea, and this week Thermal Web is collaborating with Miss Ink Stamps, and I'm really excited about today's card. I have been on kind of a monochromatic kick lately, so I am going to be using some pink products from Thermal Web, along with some products from Miss Ink Stamps to create a monochromatic pink card. I'm going to go ahead and start with the Starburst stencil, or Sunburst stencil rather, from Miss Ink Stamps. I will get that centered as best as I can, and I'm using those rays as markers, so making sure that the matching or coordinating ray on the left side of the circle kind of matches up with the distance away from the edge of the cardstock on the right side. And then I'm going to use some purple tape to tape that onto the back of uh, my cardstock. I'm using a light pink piece of cardstock, again going with that monochromatic theme, and I'm going to be using my Stencil Pal to apply some Deco Foil Transfer Gel Duo. I'm using the Duo Gel for no particular reason other than I didn't want to bring out my laminator today, and I like that with the Duo Gel you can apply um, flocks or foils or even enamel with, the duo, with just a uh, die cutting machine, just the pressure from a die cutting machine. So I used my Duo Gel, and I'm going to set that aside to dry while I work on the rest of my card. I have the Miss Ink Stamps Punny Farm Pigs stamp set, and I picked out two of the cute little piggies, and I'm going to stamp them with some Copic Friendly Ink, and then color them in with my Copic markers. I'm going to show you the handful of markers that I'm using on today's image. Feel free to take a screenshot if you want to know exactly what colors I'm using. I'm going to start with my darkest marker, which in this case is RV14, and I'm going to just add some shading where I think the darkest areas would be. I kind of like to picture this, the light coming in from the top, so anywhere where something overlaps, I'll add some shading. Where the ears are kind of overlapping his head, I'm going to add some shading, and then anywhere where there's little lines, like for his legs, I'll add shading, and then below his chin where his head meets his body. Again, that's where I'll add shading. My next marker is RV13, and I'm just going to blend out over the RV14, which was my darkest, and just kind of pull out those shading marks just a little bit. And then I'll continue on in this fashion with my other markers. I like to color dark to light. I find that it's easiest and quickest, and I get the most dimension and shading that way but I always encourage you to color however you are most comfortable and to use whatever medium you're most comfortable with. I like to use markers, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be using cool gray markers for their um, little hooves, and then I'll use that R85 and 83 for the little piggy noses. Once my images are all colored, I'm going to take the coordinating Punny Farm Pigs die set and cut out the images. I'm using purple tape to hold my dies in place so that they don't shift as they go through the die cutting machine. Love this purple tape because it's going to hold on tight but also not rip my images. Just remember it's pressure sensitive, so just give it a little bit of pressure and those dies won't shift at all. Okay, so you will know the Deco Foil Transfer Gel Duo is dry when it's completely clear. It will still be a little bit tacky. That's why you can use it in your die cutting machine with just pressure. It'll still feel a little bit sticky, but it should be completely clear. I have some Enchanted Rose Deco Foil, and I'm going to place that pretty side up over my stencil design and run this through my die cutting machine. I like to use just a piece of scratch typing paper to protect that so that none of the cut marks from my cutting plates go into or press into the foil. I'll peel this back and check this out. I just love, love, love how this turned out. I like this foil on the pink cardstock. It's super pretty. So the Enchanted Rose Deco Foil and the pink cardstock and the pink piggies just wasn't enough pink for me. So I'm going to take the E-I-E-I-O die set and cut out the hay word from some Think Pink Deco Foil Flock transfer sheets. The fun thing about flock is that you can cut it just like cardstock, but it has a really fun texture that be a little bit fuzzy. 
So I just cut that just like I would cut cardstock. And then I cut the word there from white cardstock four times. And I'm going to stack that up for a bit of dimension. To adhere my tiny little words together, I am using the new iCraft Ultra Bond liquid adhesive in the pen. I like the pen because I can get tiny little dots and it's small, so it's easy for me to hold. I'm just gonna add those tiny little dots on my sentiment and then stack up all four of the die cuts for dimension. There's no way that I would have been able to cut foam tape small enough to fit behind here. This is a really thin and delicate sentiment. So stacking up the uh, die cut words is a great solution for that. I'm going to just start assembling my card. I kind of have everything laid out where I would want it to go. I'm using that iCraft Ultra Bond Liquid Adhesive Pen once again to adhere the word hay that I die cut from the Think Pink Flock transfer sheets. I'll glue that right in the middle of my card. And then I'm going to use the iCraft 3D Foam Squares and these are in a new easy dispenser box. I'll use those to pop up my little piggies really like these new squares. The backing tape comes off really easily, especially if you press your finger into the foam square and then kind of the backer will just pop right up. I'm going to stick those right on top of my die cut sentiment and that'll finish this card. I hope you like this monochromatic look with lots of different textures using Thermoweb and Miss Ink Stamps products. Thanks for watching this video. You can visit the Thermoweb blog as well as the Miss Ink blog all this week for more collaboration inspiration. Thank you all for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye. Thank you again very much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button that is on the screen now. And here are a few other videos that I thought you might enjoy.